continuing at the top of page 147 for chapter 12. Maybe too old, but there was just too much proof that this was my father. He smiled at me. He had his arms crossed over a great big stomach with his head wiping rag hanging out of his right hand. The first thing my dad said to me was, well, 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 little man, what brings you here? Miss Thomas? I don't know any Miss Thomas, sir. So what are you doing here? He put his hand over his eyes to shield them from the stage lights and looked out into the dark part of the bar. I noticed how wrinkly my dad's hand was. Who brought you here? Your folks out there? No, sir, I'm here to meet my father. Jimmy said, who's your daddy? Why, he'd tell you to meet him here? I kept looking at Hermony Calloway. He didn't tell me to meet him here, sir. I come all the way from Flint to meet my daddy for the very first time. All the men looked over at the drummer. He stopped tapping. He said, oh man, look at this child. Ain't no kin of mine. What's your mama's name, boy? I said, you ain't my daddy. I pointed right at Herman Calloway's big belly. You know it's you. All the eyes jumped over Mr. Herman E. Calloway. He quit smiling and looked at me a lot harder, like he was really noticing me. I knew if I was a regular kid, I'd be crying buckets of tears by now. I didn't want these men to think I was a baby, so I was real glad that my eyes don't cry no more. My nose plugged up and a little growl came out of my mouth, but I kept my finger pointed, cleared my throat and said, I know it's you.